If I have the equation where k is a constant has two real and equal roots, so we know two real and equal roots. The one thing that you should remember is this one means b square minus 4ac is equal to 0. Okay, find the value of k. Okay, for a, k x square minus 10x plus 6k is equal to 5. So, to arrange in this form, we have to have ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So, we bring everything here so that we will have this 0. kx square minus 10x plus 6k. This one minus 5 is equal to 0. Okay, we have in this form, you see here this one is a, this one is b, and this one is c. Okay, just write it. K is A is equal to K. B is equal to negative 10. And C is equal to... So, everything with our X, which is, which is 6K minus 5. So, we know that B square minus 4AC is equal to 0. So, here B square minus 4AC is equal to 0. Our B is negative 10 square minus 4A is K. And C is 6K minus 5 is equal to 0. Negative 10 square, we get 100. This one is minus 4k. 6k minus 5 is equal to 0. You can also directly multiply. I just want to show you one by one. So, negative 4k times 6k, you get 24k square, right? And this one, negative 4k times negative 5, you will get positive 20k is equal to 0. So, in this case, we can factorize it. So, uh, we arrange it. This one, negative. We bring everything to the other side just because I wanted this one to be positive. K square minus 20k. Negative become positive. Positive become negative and positive become negative. Is equal to 0. So, we see that we can divide this one. We can make it smaller. Everything can be divided with 4. So, we get negative 6k squared divided by 4, we get 5k. Divided by 4, we get 25 is equal to 0. So, I'm just using calculator, press menu and then press alpha A. So, alpha A, this is my calculator, it depends on your calculator. So, uh, polynomial, polynomial degree, that means the highest power is 2. So, I have 6k here. Sorry, 6k minus 5. Why is going k? So we have minus 5. And this one is negative 25. 6x square minus 5. Minus 5x minus 25. So what does change is the this one k and x. This one. So we have 5 over 2. So you see here we have 5 over 2. And the other one is negative 5 over 3. Negative 5 over 3. So here we know that k is equal to 5 over 2. And k is equal to negative 5 over 3. But how to put it in the factorization? This one. So we, here we have over 2, right? 2 will go up here, which is 2k. And this one is positive. So it will become negative, And then we take up the up one. This one is 3. So, 3 will be here, 3k, negative 5, here will become positive 5. So, the values of k is either 5 over 2 or k is equal to negative 5 over 3. B. Hence, find the root of the equation by using the smallest value of k obtained in A. So, in A, just now, k is equal to 5 over 2 or k is equal to negative 5 over 3. So, the smallest value is this one. So, k is equal to negative 5 over 3. Okay, we have this equation. kx square minus 10x plus 6k is equal to 5. So, can we bring it together? Minus 10x plus 6k minus 5 is equal to 0. K is negative 5 over 3. This one is negative 5 over 3. X squared minus 10X plus 6. K is negative 5 over 3. 
minus 5 is equal to 0. So we multiply everything with 3 to remove the denominator times 3 times 3 times 3. So here we can cancel out. We get negative 5x squared minus 10 times 3 is negative 30x. This one, 3 and 3 can be cancelled out. 6 times negative 5, you get negative 30. And then 5 times 3 is 15, right? Negative 15 is equal to 0. So up here, negative 5x squared minus 30x. Negative 30 minus 15, you get negative 45 is equal to this one is negative, so I want to make it positive. Bring it to the everything here to the other side. Here we get 5x squared plus 30x. Negative will become positive, right? And we can see that everything can be divided with 5. Divide by 5. 30 divided by 5, we get 6. 45 divided by 5, we get 9. And we see that we can factorize this. 9 is actually 9 times 1 or 3 times 3. In order to get 6, obviously it must be 3 times 3. So this one is positive, right? So that means this both is positive. x plus 3, x plus 3. You can either use the manual method, the cross multiply using calculator. Also, we'll get the same answer. So you see here x plus 3, x plus 3. So x plus 3 is equal to 0. x is equal to negative. Three. This the root is x is equal to negative three.